Good morning, traders. Today is Wednesday, November 16th, 8 a.m., 8.03 a.m., and we are uh, 30 minutes away from opening bell. Well, this is what's going to happen today, guys. The back test from yesterday effectively took all day is going to end sometime today. Now, how it ends remains to be seen. However, if it ends in a higher low than from the previous day, then the rally continues. But if VIX continues to assert its control and it does not uh, result in a higher low and we start making lower lows and even lower highs, then I think that is potentially a sign of probably at the very least consolidation that it needs to go even further or that is the end of the rally okay so but as of right now and i'm going to show you this on the chart the 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 price pattern is showing higher lows okay macd <clears throat> this is the oh i think it was the, the 30 minutes chart is still above the zero line although it is heading in a downward direction but what it needs to try to do is flatten out right it needs to try to flatten out so that it results in a higher low on the macd ideally up flatten out above the zero line <clears throat> then that would that would most definitely indicate the rally is still on that this is just a standard back test okay so that's futures right now um, in extended hours, pre-markets, you know, I mean, that's not, that's not bad, honestly. Now, let me, let's, let, let's, let's dig into this. Okay, on the left-hand side is the VIX five minutes chart. So, <clears throat> as you see here, currently it is, it is on the upper edge of the Bollinger Band, well above its EMA 50 on the five minute chart, right? <clears throat> That is not disputed. So that clearly shows it has momentum. You can expect um, you can expect VIX to try to surge at uh, opening bell. However, I'll call your attention to this. This is the five minute chart though. Maybe I need to switch over to the 30 minute. See this and this, that's bearish divergence right there. This on the RSI, is higher than that, even though this price is lower than that. Okay, so that does suggest bearish divergence. Let's check out the 30 minute. <clears throat> see if we get the same. Oh, no, I don't see divergence here on the 30 minute. So we are gonna need to see how this plays out. Okay, we're gonna need to see how this plays out. On the 30 minute, VIX is clearly over the 30 I'm uh, sorry, the EMA 50 line, right? Clearly, in fact, it's over the SMA 20. So let's see how <clears throat> the markets respond. Now, moving over to the markets right here is the 30-minute chart. As you see here, I've drawn, yeah, I've drawn a red line um, where yesterday's, I, 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 it wasn't yesterday's low, low, but it's, in extended hours it it it's touching it's kissing this red line as you see here right see that there and even yesterday it kissed it so um but if you want to get down to the yesterday's low low that's way down here right so right now that's where the markets are currently at you see there you see the the bars it's hovering in the overnight low area okay so Let's see how this back test is going to end. Um, currently, the one hour, the 65 minute MACD for TQQQ is still over the zero line. Although it is edging in a downward direction, it's still over the zero line. That means when, when you're over the zero line, <clears throat> these are dips still. These are just dips. They're not... Uh, crashes and falls so the fact that you know from yesterday it came down 
it came up, came down overnight, gapped up, it's coming down, it's trying to establish a bottom. See that? It's trying to. It's trying to carve out that bottom, flatten out that MACD line. Yeah, if you're on the 30 minute, here on the 30 minute, see it's it's it is trying to flatten out. See what I mean? It, it's trying to flatten out, not keep falling and falling and falling. So as the 30 minute flattens out, the longer the 30 minute keeps doing that, successfully flattens it out, that's going to feed into the one hour. See what I mean? That's going to feed into the one hour. But right now, it hasn't quite fed into it yet because it's still hitting in a slightly downward trajectory. So that's going to be my advice for you today. Just uh, wait for it to keep trying to flatten out, flatten out, flatten out. Okay. Watch the, uh, the MACD. Um, particularly on the five minute let's see what it's doing here yeah see here's the five minute um uh, uh mac d so it's still sometime today it's going to definitely flatten out unless vix just takes over right unless vix takes over and doesn't let it okay meaning it just keeps falling um which is entirely a possibility now i'm going to show you something Okay, this is futures, right? Slightly different, but cousin, cousin of TQQQ, right? Now, um, okay, 30 minutes chart. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so as you see here, right, there is slightly downward trajectory, okay. So, again, let's just, you got to let it flatten out uh, before you can even think about, think about going long. Basically, when it's flattened out and, and then you want to think about going long, you're going to have to, on the five minutes chart, let this price action reclaim the five minute EMA. The five minute EMA 50 to be precise for this red line. It's got to reclaim it. Got to come up, successfully back test and go. Okay, that's that's the criterion. That's how you know that is a trend reversal on the five minute. Okay, so until that happens, we gotta wait. The back test is gonna end today sometime. That's what I had on the initial splash screen. Exactly when? Well, that's gonna be up to the markets. Now, um, you know, because this is not, but we'll see, this is not a huge fall, right? It's, <clears throat> let's just see how it uh, consolidates and builds energy. But I, I still, I still think that the, the overall trend is going to be up because of this big move yesterday in, in the futures pre-market. Basically, uh, as I kind of mentioned yesterday, I think they cheated. They took the fight out of the market's hands. And in the futures market, they just pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. And all the markets can do all day, all the investors can do is just watch it gradually fall, fall, fall. See, so that's zero involvement, right? That is no involvement from the markets. This is this yesterday was an example of a, just a totally artificial manufactured rally that these oh the market's rallying uh yeah but it didn't have anything to do with the investors that's just the market algorithms and the market makers pumping it up but technically technically yesterday all day markets weren't contributing to the rally <laughs> they were watching it just go down right so i mean that's just right just, that's all you could say about that Okay, <clears throat> now, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for today. Just be on the lookout. The back test is going to end sometime. And then I think it's going to continue up once it ends. So, you know, be, you, if, if you're going to, well, it's going to be, let me, let me see. I mean, if, if you want to go the, the alternative when do you know to start getting into puts 
let's have a look here. I think if you start falling below, yeah, if you start getting below this point, 2218 on TQQQ, that was yesterday. Yeah, if you start getting below that, then I'd start getting into puts. Because now you're breaking, you're breaking yesterday's low. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I would start getting me a puss. Hopefully we don't get down there. <laughs> I hope not, but be on the lookout for that. All right. Okay. That's all I've got, guys. Talk to you again soon.